Helicopter. Hey, fuck. I've stumbled over the first words. It's gonna be one of those st videos. Hello, club patrons, welcome to Company Furious 2. I've technically already done a video of this. You may see it before or after this one gets uploaded. I did a co-op mission with Cassie. But for Two this video... One co-op mission, because oh. I think I deleted the other video. Two. Yeah, yeah right, right. Because you don't want to admit that we lost horribly. Cease. Yeah, we lost two matches horribly before we got the one we uploaded. But for this video, we're starting the story mode. I... I should have read that intro in a Russian accent. Sega Pizions. In the darkness of the far future. <laughs> in the darkness of the 41st millennium, there is only war. In vodka. A real entertainment production. Hey, I know those guys. Bro, really hit him with the. Do you realize how little that nervous is down? <laughs> Train. Audrey would love this. You know what? Me what? and Audrey both love Iron Harvest. There's trains and Max. What are you, are you saying we should get Audrey and play the campaign? Well, I am. I, I need to play more of the Saxony campaign. I beat the Rusty at one of my own. We need to finish it because I upload some of it. I know. I'm not the one who uninstalled it, though. I'm sorry, that's 50 gigabytes and I need my space. Well, then. It's a curse <laughs> of the content creator. Well, I'm just pointing out that I, that I still have it. 1952, the war is a little over, ain't it, Commissar? This is taking place after the war. This is an interview. Well, so glad you can have that. I came all the way from Moscow to this remote piss hole, and this is how you greet your old commanding officer. What do you want from me, Colonel? I wanted to show you something. Recognize this? What you wrote on these pages could condemn a man several times over. But before that happens, comrade, first I need to know the truth. It all began at the Volga River. It all began when Lord Lucian shot your sister. September 1942, Stalingrad, USSR. Germany and the USSR signed a pact of non aggression before the invasion of Poland in 1939, but their alliance would be short lived. In the summer of 1941, Hitler launched Operation Barbarossa, ordering 4 million German soldiers to invade the Soviet Union across a front spanning 3,000 kilometers. During the first months of Barbarossa, Stalin and his generals struggled to mount a defense, but soon the Germans had pushed too far into a vast nation protected by a massive army in a hostile winter. By the fall of 1942, the German army had reached Stalingrad, for, now Volograd, but the city was far from defenseless. Lev Ezakovich met thousands of conscripts on the shores of the Volga River, where he ushered them into the besieged city. Time to offend all the Russian viewers with this video. <laughs> we should offend every person who watches. She's throwing some glory to us, Is This doesn't look like Rusviets. Astotska has nothing to do with Iron Harvest. <laughs> it's papers, it doesn't, please. This doesn't look like Rusviets. I love that. I liked how Enemy at the Gates did it. The one with the rifle shoots, the one with the ammo follows. 
When the one with the rifle dies, you pick it up and shoot. Ah yeah, so the fun of fighting the Soviets, it's a target-rich environment, you can't not miss. Or you can't miss, I mean. I double negative. Are you gonna kill the squad that he's in every single mission? No, he's a commissar, he doesn't fight in the front lines. He stands in the back with a uh, Maxim and shoots the, the ones that are retreating. Oh, so he's the one that, uh... He's the one in the hat. Yeah, he was way in the hand. He's the one that pushed the um the um, the conscript. I used to turn the game down slightly. I think. You know, I would not have wanted to be commissar. You mean you don't want to shoot your own men? <laughs> yes, because that's incredibly dangerous. See, they got the maximum and everything ready to shoot everybody that wants to retreat. Jesus Christ. In simple Russian fashion, they're fucking everywhere. At least I get shock troops, yeah, everyone else just screwed. Gun them down where they stand! Destroy them. <laughs> Destroy them? They have given us one tank for this operation. Let them feel the power of the sun. I wish. I miss the power of the sun already. The only bad thing about this game is I have the graphics on high and the terrain doesn't look that good. It doesn't give the options to... Hyperfocus, which strikes are good. I would have to exit out of the mission. I'll take a look at it after. Congrats, you supported it. I supported it emotionally. I did what I could. They'll give me more shock troops if I lose these, so. the fascists out of Stalingrad, comrades! Lieutenant Isakovich, you will lead the assault. Charge from the docks to the square. Once it's clear, we can bring in support to help crush the German armor that is sure to be waiting. What about the, the German armor on the river? In, but there's, there's a fucking stool right there! Soviet zeal and our overwhelming numbers. Well, there's the answer. ...discouraged by a few losses. Kill these fascists! You'll see, Comrade Hitler, your first mistake was invading a country that has way too many men. We cannot feed them all, so we're going to send them at you. I like how they show this, like, hey, did you know there's a vault mechanic in this game? <laughs> they may all be dead, but they jumped over that wall. Isn't that neat? <laughs> This reminds me of Call of Duty 2. That one mission where you start out and all your troops around you die in like seconds. I'm trying to remember what mission that is. Uh, downtown of City Assault, where you're head pushing towards the Salongrad City Hall. Where you're clearing the apartment blocks around the City Hall. Oh yeah, that one. That one you start out with like machine guns all around you, gunning you down. Is that the one where you, you, like, have to chase a fucking Panzer II? Yes. I hated chasing Panzer II as a kid. I hate it as an adult, it's just annoying to catch them. They're not even hard to avoid. It's annoying to catch them. They'll kill you really fast, even on recruit if they're paying attention to you. 
and if you try and charge at one while it happens to decide it wants to take a corner, it will probably run you over by accident. <laughs> yep. Grenade, go! Charge, comrades! Comrade, those fucking howitzers are going to annihilate our troops! Move up, locate, and destroy them quickly! Oh yeah, quite a mechanic with company heroes too. You see that poor crawling man? Yes. You can target him and shoot him. And then he does a little bounce and kicks the air, what the fuck? <laughs> Adorable. Oh, they're over there. I can divert. Shock troops have arrived. Shock troops, how shocking. Very shocking. You know what else is shocking? These shock troops have an MG42 now. The true horrors of war. I admire that man still alive. I don't admire the fact he's not died for his country yet. He'll die soon enough. I wonder if they actually reload their guns. Eh, my. It doesn't seem like they can take the mags out. Yeah, the model doesn't change, but you see them constantly unjamming their guns and reloading. Maybe they should stop jamming their guns then. <laughs> I mean, it's a PPSH. That thing's just like two sheets of steel with a trigger attached. It's also the 71 bullet variant, so... It's literally just a sheet of steel with a trigger attached to it. I'm not even sure it has a trigger mechanism, just a trigger. PPSHs were very, very cheaply made. They're one of my favorite guns. They were shit. They're fun in Call of Duty. They are, because in Call of Duty they don't jam. Constantly. It's the cheaper and simpler alternative to PPD-40. Okay, so it's busted, but he can reload his. Technically, it's the, uh... Upgrade to the PPD-34 that's been around since 1934, but that was expensive and material and labor and used uh, milled metal parts. Actual civilians. Kill them all! But PPSH bars, excluding the barrel, could be produced by a relatively unskilled workforce with simple equipment available in an auto repair garage or tin shop. Has 87 components and could be manufactured in about 5 to 6.6 .6 hours, later revised to 7.3. Uh, most of the time, barrels are simplified just by using the Mosin Nagat barrels. I do like Is the attention to. Sorry. I was just gonna say, I like the attention to detail that the Commissars follow you at a distance and set up their machine guns again. Yeah. Get out of the line of sight. It won't let me move the camera back anymore, but... They're back there. I saw them a second ago. I thought that was funny. They pointed out that they, uh, they made the barrels deeply. They just took most of the gun barrels, cut them in half, and used them for two different PBSHs. 
and they just redid the chamber to fit the most in the gun rifle. Yeah, see, here they come. Got some guards rifles, the commissar, and the maxim. Couple of maxims. Oh no, they got the help? Nope. Capture the anti-tank gun. Aye aye, boss. But, uh, each PPSH-41 came with two factory-fitted drum magazines matched the weapon marked serial numbers. If drum magazines are mixed and used with a different serial one, a loose fitting could cause a new poor retention and failure to feed. The drum magazines were later superseded by a simpler box-type magazine holding 35 rounds. I could probably just throw this on top of the MG and then, then it wouldn't be able to get to me. Oh my god, this is the funniest thing. The what? Soviet Union also experimented the PPSH-41 in a close air support anti-personnel role, mounting 88 of the submachine guns in four fuselage racks mm -hmm. of the two, two Polev 2-2 two, two, two bombers. They literally just fucking stapled 88 guns to a fighter and called out a day. I mean... That's... <laughs> If it works, it works. It can end us. Destroy that tank! Consider your asses flanked. I'm back to PPSH is still in use. Uh, PPSH-41. It's still used? Yes. Interesting. It's used in North Korea for the work of peasant Red Guards. Uh, some of the rebels in Russia. Uh, some people in the Syrian Civil War. And currently in Ukraine, there's a plenty of, a lot of people using it too. Because they just found the old stashes from the Cold War and just Hold them out to use them. Is even used in fucking. Just gonna hunt this for so many goddamn variants. Retreat! Fall back! You had one job. I can't imagine being ordered to shoot your own countryman. He closes his eyes and looked down. Now, attack. He does not look happy. The yeah, commissar doesn't look happy. It's not like he wants to give those orders. Deal with those machine guns, commander. A frontal assault is suicide. You will attack the German line, or you will die by my pistol. Now move. Smoke it, and then charge it. Throw a grenade at it for good measure. One machine gun is down. The boys in cover. The boys. Get my homies in cover, man. Right there. I like can kill an armored car with bullets. I don't know where they threw that smoke grenade, but... I just killed a bunch of my own men. <laughs> Ah yes, let me try and flank a tank with an unwieldy gun. Cause that'll definitely go well. Keep pulling, boys.
Get him, boys. Or he can miss. That works too. Good job. You can also destroy your friend's cover. Very neat. That's it! The Germans are starting to break! Yay! I'm going to turn you into a Soviet. Oh no. God, you guys, same sucks. To be fair, most people don't actually like shooting the enemy. It's actually uh, known that almost every single shot fired in a firefight is usually not aimed at anybody. Is that why or it takes so many shots to kill somebody because they're not aiming at anybody? Most people don't like to kill people, so... Usually what ends up happening is very if they get a chance, they'll just shoot by someone to make them run away. I remember. Those Germans tried to surrender and... We won a glorious victory that day. Glorious? Tell me, comrade. When did you begin to lose faith in the cause? When we first met you were a true believer. In my men. I always believed in them. The men. The manly men. September 1941, outskirts of Moscow. Nearly a year before the Wehrmacht reached Stilingrad. The Red Army struggled to enter the threat of Operation Barbarossa. Towns and villages throughout the Western USSR are erected with his military force stuck in and prepared for the German assault. However, the power of the Blitzkrieg overwhelmed many Soviet armies. His trained, indisciplined grenadier division swept across the battlefield with brutal efficiency. Stalin was desperate to prevent an attack on Moscow and sent thousands of soldiers to die in their attempts to solve the German advance. Then the outskirts of the capital, Eskovich met Colonel Turkin for the first time. And name. Ah uh, yes, Scorched Earth Tactics. It's 1941, but those trucks say 1942 ones up. Hey! Major has been and Comrades, the fascists are almost upon us. Our front line is contracting again. We no longer have the resources to hold the Germans here. But sir. We have to slow them down. We can buy time for the civilians to escape. Lieutenant? Isakovich, Lev Abramovich, Comrade Colonel. Yes, Lieutenant, we must buy time. Not only for the civilians here, but for Moscow. We must also prevent the German bastards from capturing our supplies. Anything we can't load onto that train must be destroyed. You can tell he's the main character who's his shirt's a different color. <laughs> Bam, match on the 234 is at the blow up. All this ordnance. Comrade Lieutenant Izakovich, while our men continue to load the train, your unit will be tasked with evacuating and destroying any remaining military assets. First, hold the enemy at the front line while our supply trucks are evacuated. Once they depart, Lure the fascists into town where our engineers have planted explosives. The engineers are engineers. The engineers that might be of use to the Germans, and then fall. They're more the here than your engineers in the Mech Warrior take the game. Train until it departs. Fuck you. <laughs> when the train leaves, evacuate to the rally point across the bridge. Are you prepared to execute your orders, Lieutenant Izakovich? I'm prepared to execute. The motherland. German forces are approaching. The front line. Take those 
conscripts and use them to replenish our shock troops for the front line. Those trucks are already broken. Merge the conscripts. Maybe they stop throwing grenades at me. I don't think those are grenades. <laughs> no, that is what's called booms. The boom boom stick is bigger than yours. They won't get close. Boys. Oh god, they're charging. I'm pretty smart of them. I have SMGs. There's a lot of them on the left side. Prevent the German advance, they said. It'll be easy, they said. We have more conscripts at our disposal. Fight for the motherland, they said. What could go wrong, they said. Everything's gone wrong. War. War always goes wrong. I'm gonna head that kitty. Yay. Kitties deserve head pets. I think you're about to call an artillery. Uh-oh. Quickly, boys, behind the sandbags. You will fight them, and they'll die. Or they'll walk past me. I am back. I had patted the kitty. Yay. I even kissed her and she just screamed. <laughs> Why are you laughing at that? Because it's funny. Your face. Wow. Your face is funny. Wow. I'm gonna funny you. So mean. You deserve it. That's it. Well done, Comrade Lieutenant. The supply trucks are moving out. I admire how tanky shock troops are. <laughs> Wow. We set up engineers. We set up bombs. Turns out he didn't. He's telling you to do it. He wide. The engineers are in here. He twicked you. 
risk having those assets fall into German hands. Destroy them at once. Hold. Fucking hold. They're trying to flank hard. Where to, Commissar? Uh oh. We have a special surprise for the German bastards. But, sir, Is it a cake? We are out of time. Detonate the explosives. And then the answer is yes, it is cake. They just scorched earth. <laughs> but they won't give up that easily. This town may fall to the fascisti, but all they will find is smoldering ruins. Fall back towards the train yard and requisition flamethrowers for your engineers. We will burn this town to the ground. Damn. The Germans aren't even trying to conquer it. They're just waiting for the Soviets to destroy it for them. <laughs> Our headquarters is still operational. Use it to request additional conscripts and engineers. Not my supplies. Supplies. Once that is done, have them torch the surrounding fields. Leave nothing for the Germans. Comrades, we have now installed. We have more conscripts at our disposal. We were doing this. God, I gotta run all the way back over there and set that house on fire. Tree went far. Engineers are in here. Why did the house not burn down? This is madness. This is our town. Our lands. Our, their land, their blood. It's the devil's ass in hell. It takes like two volleys and a flamethrower to get the house to burn down. Whoops. Use the flam and warfare. Use the flam and warfare. It works flamin. Yeah. Yes, Queen. You beat me to it. You're yeah, gonna make me tism. The Germans are Good. advancing through the fields. Yes. Comrade Lieutenant, torch the fields before they push through. We've doused the fields with gasoline. Me. Be careful, comrade. Need engineer. Me. We cannot waste any time! Our forces are still in the fields! They'll be fine. The Germans advance. Torch the fields now! Good job, comrade. Fritz will regret ever stepping foot on Soviet territory. As they run straight through the plains. <laughs> you have done well holding off the fascisti. But we still need more time. 
The Germans will try and push through the town using armored vehicles. Place mines and demolition charges along the roads to stop their advance. Nick. won't be enough if their vehicles push through. We can use those T 34s too. Negative. Those assets are acquired elsewhere. Make do with what you have. What the T 34s? The T 36. It is an absolute shame that you have to destroy them. It do be like that. Oh, fuck yeah. Is you okay? No. My joints hurt. Good. Why is that good? You can heal your shit, by the way. Yeah, but where's the fun in that? Survival. Letting more people die from the motherland. Ow. Damn, that field really lit up. Jesus. Their nice defensive line. It's funny knowing they're not even in cover, they're just standing by it to count as being in cover. Uh, Company of Heroes 3 didn't do that right, they actually like crouch behind cover. It's one of the things Company of Heroes 3 did right. Me. You know what, Company of Heroes? We need to play Company of Heroes 3 more. Oh god. To be fair, you said we were gonna do it a long time ago. I know, did. I know. But to be fair, that's the only one I have, so maybe we don't have to. We just play this one more. We'll get to Company of Heroes 3 eventually, because I do have to go do no. that. No. Yes. We don't have to. I mean, you never did finish Twilight. And Tiberian Twilight. Technically we did, we finished the Nod campaign. Yeah, we never finished the GTA campaign. We did the only campaign that matters. I'm just saying, we never finished it. We'll go back eventually. Will we? Yeah, we're still installed. Why though? I know, Why is right? that is all and not fucking Iron Harvest? Because Iron Harvest is a bigger game. You forget that I make videos, so I have new space. Silly castle. I'm gonna steal you. Oh my. Where are you fuckers going? Right there. Stop moving around! Where are you guys going? You were in perfectly good cover! I don't remember the AI being this stupid. Do you know what's actually, do you know what's kind of funny about the, uh, Tiberium Twilight story, though? How bad it is? No, the GDI are the extremists in that game. 
I think there's extremists on both sides, but... Well, they're supposed to be, but I'm saying the faction you join, if you join the GDI, are the ones trying to get the world killed. Wow. How the cookie crumbles. Burn them out. It is still, it is still kind of funny. Tiberium Twilight was originally intended to be an online game for the Asian pro gaming market. It was later forced to become the conclusion of the Command and Conquer Tiberium series in order to boost sales. Well, it certainly did not boost sales. It's also the first one that tried using DRM to force people to uh, not share the game. I'm sure that went well. It did not. Unsurprising. I fucking love this. The reception. It received mixed reviews. The game, sing game single player campaign, live action video sequences, aggressive digital rights management software, progression system, and multiplayer mechanisms were the subject of the most negative reviews. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck wasn't. <laughs> then, I literally just said the single player game, the multiplayer game, the studio, and how the story is told was all terrible. Because it was. I know, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck was not criticized. Good question. The world may never know. I got pushed back pretty far. At least IGN says 7.4. <laughs> IGN refuses to rate anything below a 7 stars, apparently. They do be like that. You give them a, you give them a tube of toothpaste, they'll just say 6.9 each more gameplay. <laughs> Three out of the seven out of ten doctors don't like this product. What is it with the AI trying to run off and fight battles? Because you have to hit their stance thing. God, they have the essence of decoy in them. They don't have a stance thing. This isn't Dawn of War. They should have a stance thing. I mean... They should have done what the people who made Dawn of War did. That's a joke because there's no Dawn of War. Others. Oh, you know what the game they should have done? Punk Company of Heroes 3 based off of? Dawn of War 3. Oh god. I mean, I think they did. Given the kind of nonsense campaign, the weirdly short and disappointing camp stories, and uh, what the fuck they were doing with the multiplayer. The abysmally slow updates. That's not true. Did the train just leave without you? We're not taking the, the train. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of tanks. With more coming in. How do you know all those men? They're about to be left behind, aren't they? I love how the cutscene assumes you lost more people than you did. Maybe I just didn't feel like mo loading all those models. You know what, that's a fair thing, the tanks were literally on their ass. They didn't surrender though. They didn't have a choice. 
The Germans weren't gonna take a surrender. Do you know what they did to German prisoners? Shot them. I can still see their faces as they stood there, stunned. We sacrificed a few to save a city. You showed great courage that day, comrade. Abandoning my men showed great courage? Yes! We were victorious! We faced an enemy that seemed unstoppable. We did what was necessary to keep the Germans from taking Moscow. You had proved you were ready for the difficult challenge we faced at Mzinsk. What was asked of our men at Mzinsk approached the impossible. I remember it this way. Well, fuck you, you're wrong. I wrote it in this book. After the desperate ploy to slow the German advance, Jerkin and Iskovich fall back to Minsk, a fortified village barely 60 kilometers from Moscow. The Wehrmacht would come in great numbers with powerful Panzer tanks, and the Soviets could not rely on scorched earth so close to the capital. With only a handful of mixed machine guns and anti tank weapons, Jerkin's division would be spent in vulnerable to flanking. With no Soviet army to oppose them, the, the Panzers would surely overwhelm M Minsk and secure Piet to Moscow. You should probably me out of this a cutscene yeah me what do you mean after this cutscene i got time left <laughs> i hope my mic didn't keep that up i had to stretch really badly I know you want to say something. Me? Minsk. Moscow. Me. It is Moscow. Moscow commits. Bye here, one more I fucking firework. German infantry approaches the ridge in great numbers. Although Why is it the way that he limited, throws a map at you and just positions. yells his first sentence it sound like he's just giving a news report? <laughs> German infantry approaching great numbers. Conscripts and good cover. When an opportunity presents itself, we will push forward and secure the roads into Mitzensk. Save. Why? Please. Can't. You That's gotta wait for the game to finish like, some dialogue, I'm guessing. Where the fuck are my maxims anyway? Do I only have one maxim across three positions? Probably. That's gonna suck. I don't even have Molotovs. This has become sit here and let shit happen. Are you gonna just do- are you gonna do this mission? I said I was going to. It's only been 45 minutes. I didn't know that. You didn't say that. Well... Mm. Mm. Hold the line, conscripts! You're in green cover, just fuck them up. Exactly. German contact on the northern path. I'll send reinforcements that way. Now he gets up. Yeah, suppress him. Oppress them. We have more conscripts 
Nee. You always me. Nee. God damn it, it's Sentry Road. On which side? Shit. Who's in the middle? Good god! They're slightly better than go. conscripts. There, you got your Molotovs. Are you happy now? Yes. Because now I can give them PPSHs. Oh, they're PPSH 41s. Just like the one you're well, talking yeah. about. Is it like one per squad? I don't know. Uh, replaces. I think it replaces all of them. Yes, because it's a place of SVT, so. Motherfuckers keep walking past me. Cease. I will throw a Molotov on you, pricks. But just don't let them walk past. Shoot them. I'm trying. Shoot them. Molotov out. You thought the snow was cold before, you haven't had a Molotov cocktail go off under your feet. Me. I'm gonna go steal another machine gun, fuck them. Hand the grenadiers to the north! Suppress them before they can grenade our trenches! All units are being transferred to make room for the new! Oh, it replaces two of them. Use the HMG to suppress those Panzer Grenadiers. Do more and suppress them. Troops are being transferred to make room for fresh recruits. I'm surprised you never commented to that. I was distracted. I didn't miss what happened. Good. Silly Austria. So you, so you just there to hold it? Yeah, I'm holding the line. Oh, thank God. Sends in one more Maxim squad. Doesn't let you move it, puts it on the left side, anyways. They gave me two, so I have one for each. Just makes them move faster, right? No, not in front of Vicky's. On front of Vicky's, they get improved rate of fire and accuracy as well. Oh, I see. Normal constructs no. just movement. What? I did. I did. Uh, what do you want me to do about this, Commander? It's called using a mine. We don't have mines, we have front of Vicky's and Molotovs. That's your answer. Advance to the rear. Tactical retreat. Pick up the maximum and run. <laughs> no, it's not a retreat. It's advance to the rear. Get it right. We're not retreating. We're just advancing away from the enemy. Engineers are ready to set up defenses in the village. In addition, guards, rifle, infantry are now available from the campagna. The campagna. Guards ran for it pretty good. Guards, we move. 
They get DPs, which I call the disc LMGs. I'm gonna do discos. Meniscus. Meniscus? I hear a missile. Oh, is that the one with the dinner plate on top? Yes. Nice. You get a dinner plate. You get a dinner plate. Everyone gets a dinner plate. Everyone gets a dinner plate. Yes, comrade. Crew, we're moving. That looks like a good spot for the MG. Our DPs have arrived this weather. Now the enemy will pay. Weaving. Adorable. Cease. You're the one doing it. I'm. 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 I'm, uh -huh. I'm... Yes. These. <laughs> Engineers or Engi here? I'm gonna Engi you. I do like how the machine guns come to fear is too. Either they deploy it on the ground and land their stomach, or if it's against cover, they pick it up and put it on its stilts. I only heard part of that. I keep being distracted. I said. Sorry. <laughs> The machine guns in this game, the if they're not in cover, they lay on their stomach. If they're in cover, they put it, the machine gun up on stilts. They do that in one, too. I've never seen that before. I see that in one. Like, you'll see them take, like, the time. You see the little bar filling as they, as them laying down to use it. Well, no, because they always crouch. Well, I meant, but I mean, I'm saying, though, you'll see them actually, like, deploy the stilts. Get up. But... Well, you'll see the loading bar of I'm getting ready to shoot is usually them laying down the bipod. Yeah, but I mean, in this, there is they can also just not use the bipod. They just lay on their stomach on the ground with it. Comrade, the Germans will be upon us soon. They do in one, but I know what you mean. It is a cool animation. They crouch in one, which is their only animation. And two, they have two different animations. See, he's not cover, so he'll get on the ground with it. Yeah, they do that in one, too. I'm gonna punch you. No, I'm just in Company of Heroes 1. If you see the machine guns, you'll see them run up to the spot they're going to be, then lay down and pull out and set up the machine gun. Yeah, they pull out the bipod and they get down on a knee. No, they lay down. You're thinking of the modded American machine gun. I'm thinking of the German machine guns. I'm talking vanilla. That's not vanilla. That is vanilla. No. Fine. I'm gonna, I'll pull up Company Pierce 1. I'll open my... No. I'm not gonna say that. I forgot to get the engineers! They're drowning! No! Good job. Whoops. I think they finally your defenses are weak. A test of your reflexes. <laughs> All right, I'm pulling opening company of heroes. We're gonna find out. By we, I mean you. I'm gonna prove it. A test of your reflexes. All the positions are under a dick. Did this game have a German campaign or just Russian one when it launched? It only had Russian at launch and then it had the Ardennes assault. Um. Oh, fuck. We have at our Which, yep. I'll play Ardennes assault for this one. 
you skipped it in the first one? Yeah, because it was just a rehash of Martine. It's really weird they did it for that one, and it's just... it, it was a weird decision on Relic's part. That poor MG. Make them drown in the ice! Break it! Kill them! Remember the ice was very useful for defenses and when I was playing with you. Because they kept actually sinking their tanks. We're gonna fight them on the beaches! The beaches of ice! Drown in the waters of hell. Adorable. Aw, uh, silly armored car. See you in hell! Bless you. I need that fucking stoop to come a little bit closer. Can I melt the ice? Cocktail, go! That did nothing. You to did my nothing. utter lack of surprise. I'm gonna... No... Please save me. You're gonna knee, aren't you? I'm trying not to. Fuck you, Stug. How lewd. Button the vehicle. Imagine if tanks jiggled. You know, that was an issue that Company of Heroes 3 had. The vehicles would just violently vibrate at all times. Wow. I think they fixed it because it, it was a beta thing and it was an on-watch thing. I'm just, it's just very funny. It's like, what was you, what's you, what'd you fix today? Well, I fixed the tanks jiggling. Why are the tanks jiggling? Well, you know, never saw this happen in game one and game two. I don't know where we went wrong, but they were <laughs> jiggling when we launched game three. When we saw it in the beta, but we didn't do anything about it. <laughs> we had a jiggle physics to the tank. Actually, that might have been where they did. They might have tried making it immersive by adding, like, the pieces shaking or rattling a bit as it moves. Yes, but the, the shaking was a little bit too much. Like, Jesse vibrating because she has not had her drugs. Yes. The drugs. I see that shoot. Is he on the ice? I hope he's on the ice. I hope so too. That'd Hell yeah! See you at the bottom of the drink, motherfucker! Down to the drink. I don't know why I'm getting so into this. Because you're enjoying yourself. There's another stoop that's, over there. That's so wrong that you enjoy a game. I need that stoop to come closer so I can drown him. It's so wrong you enjoy a video game. Bring the stoop closer. Bring it closer. I wish to knee all over it. I would just do this. I think he moved. Oh! He thought about it. He came a bit closer. Can you come even closer? Eh. Hey. 
I know you want to. Well, fuck, I, he didn't have to. He's drowning even though he's halfway on land. Those poor, poor Panzer Grenadiers are stuck on the ice. It would have been a shame if someone threw a grenade and drowned them. You wanted them to, didn't you? The grenade would have killed them before they drowned, unfortunately. Okay, and unless that Stug stays still, I'm gonna actually have to kill it. Ha! I drowned another one. More front of Vickies. Front of Vickies squads have arrived to fight. Speaking of Vickies. I see a stoog where it shouldn't be. See you in hell. I'm in hell, and there's a crucifix. That's not supposed to be there. Oh, that stupid made it across. Fuck. Button them from behind. Me. Jesus, they they're getting smart. They're just driving across and coming over here now. Them. I so misheard that. The fuck? I'm you still mishearing. Him? What are you saying? I said Please. button him. Wow. Button Hello. vehicle, machine gun fire, shadows, vision blocks, reducing movement speed and rate of fire. That is not what you mean. That's what it says. You are lewd. Button the enemy vehicle. So I'm buttoning the enemy vehicle. That's not where you should be calling in our artillery. You could have called it in anywhere else. They could have, but they didn't want to. God damn it, it destroyed the maximum entirely. I'm getting hit hard. <laughs> Fuck. No Tactical retreats. Good, the reinforcements. Fuck them up, comrades. Forward, man. Let's finish these books. Still pounding the village. Get our T-34 
hear that? The village is still being pounded. How lewd. How very lewd. Let's fucking go! Secure noise. Shit, I need more manpower. One of the I'm trying to get machine. Died. Yeah, I have a machine gun right here. I can prove it to you. Okay, fine. You're right. I'm always right. The enemy has destroyed one of our vehicles. Gather your forces, lead the way with armor, and crush the enemy. I like how the Russians, some of the crews, are, have female tank crews, some of them have males. Them they, uh, they just use whoever they could get. The snipers are the same way. Sometimes you get a pair of female snipers, sometimes a pair of males. I think well, that's the only two things that do that in, for the Russians. I keep hearing this announcer from your game is throwing me off now. <laughs> what are you waiting for, Commander? Finish them. Mazens is secure. Well done, comrades. The fascists will learn to fear Soviet armor. There's nothing to fear from a T-34 other than it can be mass-produced very quickly. I remember <laughs> there's a mission in Men of War Assault Squad. It's a modded defense mission where you're defending a T-34 factory. I need to play that game. As long as you hold the factory, it just pumps out T-34s the entire match. Oh, that sounds sexy. I think it's like every five minutes another T-34 rolls out of it. And it's like... a two hour long... Defense mission? I need to play that game. I just haven't at all. I need to find that mission. I think you... No, your computer probably exploded. My computer can handle Men of War. Well, Club Patrons, the next mission next time will be the Miraculous Winter. So, I'll see you all in the next one.